Rapid Seal is a heat shrinkable wraparound product that has been specifically designed for sealing manhole structure joints to eliminate inflow and infiltration. Once installed, this encapsulation system creates an impermeable barrier that prevents moisture and groundwater from entering the manhole support structure and frame. Rapid Seal is typically shipped in 50-foot bulk rolls in either 12 or 18-inch widths with individual pre-cut closure seals. A specially formulated VOC compliant primer shipped in one gallon containers is also required for the installation of this product. The bulk roll material is coated with an aggressive mastic adhesive that is protected from contamination with an integral release liner. The rapid seal system can be applied with commonly available hand tools and a handheld propane torch. Normally, surface preparation simply requires using a hand wire brush or surface cleaning of the concrete structure to ensure that all surfaces to which the sleeve is applied are clean and dry. Sharp edges or pieces of aggregate may be removed by using a welder's chipping hammer. Sizing of the sleeve requires use of a flexible tape measure. Typically, the sleeve width should be sufficient so that it extends a minimum of three to four inches above and below the joints that are to be coated on the cone section, grade rings, and manhole frame. In this case, with three three-inch grade rings, it is apparent that an 18-inch wide rapid seal is required for sealing the manhole frame and providing the three to four-inch recommended coverage below the grade ring and chimney section joint. Use a lumber crayon to make several guide marks around the circumference of the structure. Next, determine the lay flat length of the sleeve by measuring the circumference of the structure at the guide marks and then add a minimum overlap of six inches. Preheating of the manhole structure with the recommended propane torch is now performed to warm the surface and drive off any surface moisture. Rapid Seal Primer can now be applied to the surface with a paint roller. Apply a uniform coating of primer and allow the primer to dry until tacky to the touch. Dry time may take 5 to 15 minutes depending on ambient conditions. Ensure that any puddling of the primer is eliminated by touching up with a paintbrush. While waiting for the primer to dry, the 18-inch wide bulk roll can now be rolled out, measured, and cut to the predetermined lay-flat length. Removing no more than 6 inches of the release liner from the sleeve, Start applying the sleeve to the prime surface and continue wrapping the sleeve around the surface using the perimeter marks as a visual guide to apply the sleeve. Always take care not to allow the exposed adhesive of the sleeve to fold onto itself and make contact. Remove the release liner gradually as you continue to wrap the structure. At the sleeve overlap, ensure the top and bottom edges of the sleeve are uniformly aligned. Please note that the sleeve does not have to be tightly wrapped since the sleeve material has a high expansion ratio and inherent recovery. Closure seals are coated with a hot melt adhesive that must be preheated to activate the adhesive prior to installation. Place the closure seal on the ground, adhesive side up, and apply heat gently and evenly with a propane torch. Once preheated, apply the closure seal by centering the preheated closure over the vertical leading edge of the sleeve overlap. Apply additional gentle heat to the backing of the closure seal and continue to pat down closure with a gloved hand or hand roller and increase the heating application until the closure is fully bonded and the edges are adhered to the rapid seal. Recover the rapid seal with a moderate yellow-blue flame 
by heating the sleeve from the bottom edge. Apply heat in broad horizontal strokes, maintaining a 6 to 10 inch distance and keeping the torch moving at all times. Continue shrinking upward as the rapid seal recovers. Use a gloved hand or roller if necessary to smooth any wrinkles or trapped air. After shrinking the sleeve, trim around the frame gussets with a sharp razor knife. Gently heat with a torch and press down the trim sleeve onto the frame. Visually inspect the recovered sleeve to ensure that the rapid seal is in full contact with the cone section and manhole frame. Adhesive flow at the sleeve edges is evident and the sleeve is fully recovered. Rapid seal should be allowed to cool to ambient conditions prior to backfilling. However, water quenching is acceptable to facilitate immediate backfilling. Use selected backfill materials to minimize any damage to the sleeve backing. For the representative nearest you, please call 800-867-2772 or visit our website at www.rapidseal.com.